while I am in the middle of bleaching the mole. <laughs> so I've got 45 minutes to find something to do. Hmm, you know what that means. So I think what we'll do is some um, four winds. <clears throat> I like this one, it's really pretty. It's quite simple once you've got it, but it's a little bit fiddly. So let's begin. What you need, oh, and by the way, when you learn four winds, as a side bonus, you also win. You also win. <laughs> you also learn uh, cloud cover because it's pretty much the same ring placement and then you just move the rings and you get two different weaves. So I'll show you that as a bonus, but I'm not going to focus on that one. So to do four winds, we're going to want four millimeters, which is 532s in Imperial, 18 SWG. The same size in a color of your choice, in anodized, anodized aluminium. And then the large ring that I'm using to join the units together is a 6.5 millimeter, uh, one quarter in Imperial, 18 SWG. Notice my fingers are really bad today because I've just been in the hot tub, so I'm like a prune, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> Right, what we do to start this weave is close up one, four small rings. To make a unit, all we're going to need is four small rings of the silver variety, two small coloured ones, and that is your unit, essentially. So start by making a chain out of these. Um, boom, boom, boom. My glasses on. And the fourth one going in. All right, so we've got our one, one chain. Right, do we want to put it down? And we want to make sure but the rings are lying flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, these, every other, these two are facing that way and these two are facing that way. So that's where you want to get started. Then to start the unit, we flick the left hand side over and down and the right hand side over and up. And we get this sort of diamond shape. That's what you want, ideal. Then what's going to happen next, and to finish our unit, one coloured ring is going to go through those two, and the other coloured ring is going to go through those two. And the sets of two are the ones that are on the same plane. So those two are now facing that way, and those two are now facing that way. Okay, so to pick him up, I put my thumb down on him, and as I lift him, there are the two rings that I need to start on. So... In through one, out through the other, like so. Now when you let go, you wanna try and keep those two loose ones near each other, because that's where you need your other one to go in. You don't wanna lose them, so just tighten that up slowly. Grab your other two, there they are. And put another ring in through one and out through the other, like that. Okay, so when you put that down, it doesn't look familiar at the moment, but what we need to do is to take these gold rings and fold them in, right? So one, to fold them inwards. Doesn't want to do it for me, does he? There he is, fold him in. Tap him down a bit. And what you've actually got there now is a unit of cloud cover, which isn't actually what we want, but it is a byproduct of it. So you now know how to do that as well, a double flipping bubble. But what we want is on the other side. So we flip cloud cover over, press him down, fold him over, so we've got the other side. And once again, we repeat that movement of pushing those golden to the middle. Tamp him down. 
And now you've got four wins. Ta-da! I'm going to take a large ring now. And what I'm going to show you now is the way I do it. It's not necessarily the done way. I don't know what the done way is, to be honest. Open up the large ring. And then I always find confusing. We're going to hook through some of these rings. It's going to go through the silver one, through the gold one, and then through the silver one again. And I just, when I look at it, it baffles me. So in order to do it easier, what I do is I actually pinch those two silver rings together and it creates a shape that's stable and I can just whack a ring through, right? So I'll show you what I mean. If I pinch, you get that. And that is what the four winds looks like. See? But I just pinched it. And it makes it easier. Where are you? There. So now I can see that that ring needs to go through that silver one, that gold one, and underneath that outside silver one. You see that? So I'm going in through that silver there. I'm going through that gold one there. And then I'm coming out underneath that silver one there. And I just find that is a much easier way to do this. It'll take a little bit of practice, but once you've got it, it just makes things so much easier. So close that up. And it looks like a mess, but you'll just have to trust me. Twist it now so that large ring is on the outside. And every time you squeeze that together, look, you can see that it's actually the four wind shape. So put it down. Take our existing one that we've already got lots of. That's if you want to add it to the chain. No, let's do. Let's assume we're doing the first one first. Right. Get another large ring and open him up. Pinch that together again. And it gives you your pathway. Through that silver ring, through the gold ring, and underneath that ring there. Through there, under there, and out from under there. And that's it. Tighten him up. So there you have it. What we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to do another one so I can show you how to join them together. So what I'm doing now is making another one by one chain. Opening up these rings, they're already closed. That one there. Right, line my piece of piece down. Make sure that they're facing how I want them to face. That's it. So these ones are facing downwards and those ones are facing upwards. Then we want to flip the left one down and the right one up to give us our diamond shape. I'm gonna take a colored ring and put it through those two there. Now, as I said, you can put it down if you're initially worried about losing those two, and then you can just gently close in order to, you know, stop it from unraveling. But I'm just gonna lift it up and close it because I'm fairly sure I can find the way again. There they are, look, see there's those other two. Oops, slippery little suckers. There they are, so I want to put another ring through there. And put them down. Fold the gold rings inwards. And you've got your cloud cover unit, which for future reference, now you know how to do cloud cover. And we want to grab him and flip him over, like so. And we want to push those two gold rings back to the middle. Like so. There you 
go and there's your fan. I've got to stop saying like so because Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. Right, so what we want to do now is we want to add it to an existing one. So open this up, the underneath as opposed to what that way that's currently facing. We're going to use, let's say that's the top, this is the underneath, okay? We want to open up the large ring on that one. We want to tweak this one until it becomes that shape. And then don't hold it too tight because it makes it hard to feed this row. Just hold it loop gently, but tight enough not to fall apart. Through there, through there, and through there. And let go. And close up. Then we can take another large ring. And squeeze that up again, look, there he is. Through, through and through, like that. And that's it. That is how you do four wins. Do, do, do. This is quite loose, because I've used quite a large ring size, but I thought it would be a good way of showing you how to do it. Because once you start getting smaller, it gets a little bit more fiddly. So now you, to, now you know how to do it, you can experiment with ring sizes. Then once you've got as many as you need to wrap around your rest, oh my God, look at all my treasure. You can put a clasp on one end and you're away to go. Nice bracelet, easy peasy. Good luck. <laughs>